one, two, three. Mic check, one, two, three. Yes, it's working. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Johnny, and I am your host for today. Mr. Zorik is not here, so I will be doing the Kids Connection program. I want to welcome everyone to this exciting program where we're going to be talking about God and His plans for us and how we can count on Him. So, without further ado, I want to welcome each and every kid who's watching us online today. Yes, I'm very happy to be here and hopefully I'm, I'll do a good job and Mr. Zorik let me do it again. So, let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. So, to get our program started, we're going to sing our song of the day. So, I welcome every boy and girl at home, moms and dads, to sing our song of the day together. I won't worry about a thing. <laughs> So now I invite you all to close your eyes 
as we talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Bless each boy and girl at home and may this program be a fun program. And God, please help me do a good job. This is my first time doing it and I'm so nervous. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I am happy to be here. And again, my name is Johnny. We are going to be talking about some exciting things happening at Kids Connection. Not only at Kids Connection, but also connecting with God. Yes. But I want to talk to you about our mission spotlight. Our mission spotlight today is about a far country where a man and a woman weren't feeling well. They didn't know why until they found out. Yes, they found out why they were they were feeling good. So let's watch it and see what happened and what did he do and how we can help them with our offerings to help other people the same way they found help and assistance. So. Let's roll our missionary story for today. There was a silent killer in Yorina's home. Our family was eventually dying because of our kitchen. Because what was produced from the kitchen was not healthy to the body. It was slowly sapping the life and health of his family. Yorina and his wife got sick. Yorina was feeling worse every day. He felt so sick that he thought about committing suicide. That was until he discovered the silent killer that was slowly taking away their health. The type of food we were using was already damaged food, overcooked and all that. When I came across one Seventh-day Adventist evangelist and I read through his, some of his literatures, I discovered that I was living a very wrong life. A ray of hope came when Yorina learned of a health seminar organized by the nearby Adventist church. He asked his wife to go since he was feeling very sick. After the meeting, Yorina's wife came home equipped with newfound knowledge. As she made me feeling bad, she started applying water therapy on me straight. What she learned there, she never knew, had idea about that ever. She applied the water therapy, cold and hot water on me, covering me. And before you know, I was sweating. We started having a new lifestyle. The lessons from the health seminar had a tremendous impact on Yorina and his wife. Their yard, which was once full of chickens, is now empty. In its place, Yorina planted different types of medicinal and health-giving plants like moringa and aloe vera. The plants are all around their house. They also take advantage of fresh fruits and vegetables, which are abundant in Nigeria. Yorina is now living a healthy and happy life. He and his wife are ambassadors of the health message, teaching what they learn to anyone they can. They started building a small space in front of their house where they can teach people about health and the Bible. They've also used this space to start a small Bible study group. But Yorina is just one man, and the city of Abuja has more than three million people, people who would benefit a lot from hearing the health message. This quarter, your 13th Sabbath offering will help build a medical center there. This center will help treat illnesses and show people a better way to live. I look forward to a medical center that people we say that there's a health facility when you go there all you see is love within the health workers there there's a health facility that when you go there there's something else you you receive apart from the routine things routine services you see in other health facilities please pray for the development of this health center and for the other projects this quarter thank you for supporting the 13th sabbath offering Mr. Zorik said that 
We've been counting on offerings from boys and girls, moms and dads, so the missionaries all over the world can continue to build hospitals and churches and schools. And I am so happy because I am going to donate to the boys and girls and to the missionaries across this, across the world. So if you haven't done it yet, please follow the link. Click above this video and let's help the missionaries. Thank you. Okay, so in today's lesson, <clears throat> what's today's lesson again? Oh, it's about, it's about, I don't know, everything is going wrong for me. Mm. Sorry, boys and girls, my friend Paul is a bit nervous. His, his camera shy. So, uh, Paul, do you want to come out? No, I don't want to come out. Hmm, okay, well. I guess I'm gonna have to do it by myself. Hey, hey, Paul. C come on out. Come on out. Come on out. See the boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls. So, uh, let, let me, let me introduce you to my friend, Paul. Paul, it's okay. Come on up. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, Paul, are, are you gonna help me? With the theme for today? I don't know. Everything is not so right. What do you mean everything is not so right? You know, Johnny, everything is just going wrong for me today. What, what do you mean going wrong? Yeah, I was trying to set up the microphone, but it, it didn't work the way I was planning. So, everything is just wrong. Well, I don't think it's so wrong because here we go. We have the microphone working and the boys and girls are watching at home and I am presenting the program so everything is going fine. Yes, yes, but it wasn't. Hmm, okay. Yes. Do you want to talk about it? I don't know. Well, we're friends, right? Yes. So, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. And, you know. Okay. Well, see, Johnny, my life is just being wrong everything's been wrong tell me more what, what what happened what 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 is going wrong okay well johnny you see i was trying to ride my bike the other day and my the tire got flat and i couldn't ride my bike anymore well but that's just a tire getting flat. It's okay, sometimes tires do go flat. Yeah, but both tires? Oh, both tires? Yes, at the same time. Wow, but that's not everything going wrong. No, no, that's just the beginning. Really? Yes. After the tires got flat, I went to play soccer. As soon as I kicked the ball, <laughs> the ball got flat. Wow. Really? Yes, Johnny. Everything is going wrong. Well, but I'm sure you found something else to play with. Mm, yes, I tried, but when I got my little, my favorite card to play with, 
as soon as I pushed, the car crashed and broke and I couldn't play. Wow! That's crazy! Yes, and that's not all. Really? What do you mean, that's not all? You see, Johnny, after I broke the little cart, I went to ride my scooter. Oh, scooter, yes, yes. We love riding scooters together. But wait, what happened? You see, when I got the scooter to ride, it broke too. Everything I touch breaks. I can't believe it. Everything in this world breaks. I can't. I'm such a bad luck. I can't do it anymore. Everything, everything, everything. Well, Paul. Yes. You know, sometimes things do go wrong. But it doesn't mean we have to give up. We have to keep going. Yeah, yes, I know. But not every single time. Hmm, let's see. Well, let me tell you a story. In the Bible, there is a story of a man. A man who... Everything was going wrong for him. Really? Just like me? Yes, just like you. Everything he did went wrong. And he always trusted God. That God was going to help him. Really? Yes. And Paul, what I like to tell you is that don't give up. Oh, okay. Because God is with us. And when God is with us, nothing can defeat us. Just like this man in the Bible. But it's hard. I know it's hard. But it's not impossible. And I want you to try it. Okay, Johnny. Promise me, Paul. Okay, I'll promise. And I guarantee you that sometimes things do go wrong. Just like it goes wrong for me and for the boys and girls at home. But we always pray and we ask that God be with us and protect us and guide us. Okay. And you know what? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play a song and I want you to sing the song with me, okay? I'll try. Yes, it's a fun song. It's our, our song of the day for today. And all the boys and girls sing at home. But I want you to sing it with us. Deal? Okay. I'll try. Okay, boys and girls. You know the song because we just sing together. Now, we're going to sing it with my friend Paul. And let's see if that's going to cheer him up a little more. Okay? <laughs>
was in a lurch and I won't worry, worry about a thing. To the left I'll fly, 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 to the right I'll fly, 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 oh and I won't worry, worry about a thing. I'm gonna swoop down low, low. It was a lot of fun and thank you Johnny because now I learned that I don't need to worry about anything because God is with me. That's right! God is with you! And just like the Bible story that we're going to learn today in our classroom that God can help us and He promised to be with us. All we need to do is trust Him. Okay, boys and girls, so let's just remember. Yes, boys and girls, don't forget that God loves us. Yes, God loves me, God loves you, and He can help us. So now, let's pay attention to our story as we continue our lesson for today. But before we do that, now it's time for the boys and girls to sing the song at home too. So. Do you want to sing it again? Yes, I want to sing it again. Okay, boys and girls, so let's sing our song of the day together again. Let's sing our song. Yes. <laughs>
for singing with us, Paul. Oh, thank you for encouraging me to sing with you, Johnny. Okay, now let's pray to close our program. Dear Jesus, thank you because you love us. And thank you because you promised to take care of us and we don't have to worry about anything. Protect us every day from all bad things that happen to us and it could happen. Keep all the boys and girls safe at home. Moms and dads, grandpas, grandmas, and everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So, I hope I'm doing a good job today. I think you were. And if I did a good job, Mr. Zorik will invite me to come back and host Kids Connection again. Oh, <sighs> uh, I think you did a good job. Okay, I'm going to go down and take care of the sound again, okay? Okay, Paul. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, kids. Thank you, Paul. All right. So, kids, thank you for having me as your host for Kids Connection today. I want to thank Mr. Zorik because he gave me the opportunity to be here while he couldn't. And I was so happy to do it. And hopefully, I get to do it again. Now, to finalize our program. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, yes. To finalize our program. We have a couple celebrations. Remember the last week, Mr. Zorik said that we had a birthday? Well, after that birthday, we had two more birthdays. So we want to wish a happy birthday to Uxbo. Uxbo, happy birthday. It was his birthday last week, and we just want to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Uxbo. May God bless you. Not only Uxbo, but also Nolan. Nolan turn three and we are so happy and we hope that god blesses nolan and uxpo now in addition to uxpo and nolan we also have another birthday coming up this week and that is ryan ryan is having a birthday this coming week now so happy birthday ryan and to everyone so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Ah, oh, this was fun. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, boys and girls, for being here with us today at Kids Connection. And I hope that you have a great week. But don't, don't forget, Mom and Dad, you have Parents Connecting this afternoon. Hold on. Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, and also tomorrow, we have Kid to Kid. And in next, not tomorrow, Sunday, but the next Sunday, the 19th, we are going to have a church business meeting via Zoom. So have your mom and dad check their calendar so they can be a part of that too. It's our church, our voice. I am planning to be there if the pastor let me. <laughs> okay, so don't forget boys and girls, we'll be here again. And by the way, remember, send us a note by email, Connection at gmail.com we want to hear from you if it's your birthday we want to say hello to everyone and if it is mom and dad's birthday or whatever you want to say we will be happy to read your note here in the air so thank you so much for participating on another kids connection program until next week my name is johnny your host for kids connection <sighs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Until next week. Bye. Well, good morning, boys and girls. I'm happy to see you today. Happy Sabbath. I'd like to welcome some of you today. I'd like to welcome Elia and Ethan, Amy and Cameron, Sunny, Rio and Gia, and Aiden. Welcome. I'd like to welcome also Benjamin, Carlina, and Sammy, Max and Vita, Janie, Jade, and Jax, welcome. Caitlin, JR, and Seth, Josiah, Ariane, Vashti, and Moses, 
Will and Mia, welcome. Nicholas, Luke and John, Andrea, Zori and her new baby, Joshua, Jael and Joy, welcome. I'd like to welcome Reese, Tyel, Estella, Federico and Francisco. Welcome everybody. I hope that you enjoy the lesson today. Well, our lesson today is about suffering. Have you ever wondered why God allows people to suffer? Have you ever wondered why God can't just magically make all the suffering go away? I want to tell you a little story and it's called Alexander and the Terrible, No Good, Very Bad, Horrible Day. Now Alexander got up and he couldn't find his favorite shirt that he liked to wear to school. His hair wouldn't lay down flat. He couldn't find one of his shoes. Mom made something he did not like for breakfast. And then he missed the bus to school. Have any of you ever had a bad day? Sometimes we do have bad days. God never promised that we would not have bad days. What he did promise is that he would take care of us during our bad days. Have you ever fallen down and skinned your knee? It hurts, doesn't it? But God has made our bodies so that they will heal up. Sometimes our hurts may not be on our knee or our elbow. They might be in our heart. Somebody says something mean to you, or you lose your favorite toy, you hear somebody arguing and it makes you very sad. Someone you love very, very much might die and you feel very sad. And that is kind of a pain right here in your heart. And God has not promised that we would not have suffering because there is sin in the world. We will have suffering. God did not create the world to be this way, but since sin is in the world, that is the way the world is. Every person will go through bad things. Sometimes people think that if they believe in Jesus and love Jesus and love God, that no bad things will happen to them. But God has not promised no bad things will happen to you. He has said that when bad things happen to you, that you can trust him to take care of you. When Jesus was on this earth, he felt pain too. People bullied him, they laughed at him, they said bad things about him. He also felt physical pain. He understands the pain we feel sometimes and how hard sometimes life can be. But he has promised that he will always be with us. He will help the hard times to make us into a better person. He wants us to be the best that we can be. So he will turn our rough times into things that work for our good. God does not want us to feel pain, but he can help us heal from the pain that we do feel. He will comfort our hearts when we feel pain. Well, how does God help us in hard times? Well, painful moments help us to grow. Sometimes he lets us feel the things that we need to feel to make us a better person. Just like our bodies heal from a bad scrape, you can also heal from a pain in your heart too. We can realize that God loves us very much and he wants to help us to be better people. And when we see other people that might be suffering, we can comfort them because we know how they feel. Well, I want to tell you about a boy and a girl who went for a walk. This is Peter and this is Jane. They went for a walk one day and they saw a chrysalis hanging in the tree. Do you know what a chrysalis is? Yes, a chrysalis is what a butterfly comes out of. First, it starts out as a tiny little egg on a leaf. And then it becomes a caterpillar. And after it's eaten a whole bunch, it becomes a chrysalis. And then after it's in the chrysalis for a couple of weeks, it comes out and becomes a beautiful butterfly. Well, Peter and Jane found a beautiful green chrysalis hanging on a tree. And they watched as the butterfly started to come out. 
and it was struggling really hard to get out of that chrysalis. Sometimes it can take a long time for the butterfly to come out. And they saw how hard it was struggling and they decided that they would help it to get out of the chrysalis. So they opened up the chrysalis to help the butterfly. But when the butterfly came out of the chrysalis, it fell plop onto the ground and its wings were all crumpled up and it couldn't fly. They were very sad. They thought they were helping the butterfly. So they very carefully picked it up and took it to their daddy and said, look, daddy, why won't the butterfly fly? Daddy said, well, the chrysalis is necessary for the butterfly because in struggling to get out of the chrysalis, its wings become strong so that it can fly. Oh, we did not know. We thought we were helping. They were very, very sad. Daddy said, sometimes, you know, people struggle like the butterfly was struggling, and God uses those struggles to help them to be better people. So the butterfly can help us to understand that sometimes, even though we have struggles, God will use them to help us to become better people. So, said Peter, when I am mad or upset when something bad happens, I should let God use it to make me a stronger person. Well, that's exactly it, said Daddy. And look, here's another beautiful butterfly that came flying by. Oh, that butterfly took its own time to get out of the chrysalis, and they were so happy to see the butterfly. Well, painful things do happen to us, and God will help us. In fact, our painful moments can help us to understand how wise God is. There are times when we need to struggle to learn a lesson. If we never have hard times, we might become very, very selfish and uncaring and a little bit mean because we can hurt other people just like they hurt us. We can also understand God's power when we have struggles because he can help them to go away. Now, God is not a magic genie that will help you with everything and make everything disappear, but he does what is best for you and he can do much more than you could ever imagine. When we have hard times in our lives, how do we get through that? Well, we have to have a trusting attitude. We need to pray about it to Jesus and ask him to please help us to know what lesson we should learn from this and he will help us. We have a new memory verse today, and I'm going to go ahead and read it for you, and you just listen, and then we'll say it a couple more times. We know that in everything, God works for the good of those who love him. They are the people that he called, because that was his plan. And it comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Now let's see, we can put a few signs with that. Let's give it a try. We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love him. They are called to be his children because that was his plan. Romans 8 verse 28. Okay, let's try it again. We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love him. They are the ones he called to be his children because that was his plan. Romans 8 verse 28. Well, let's do it one more time, okay? We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love him. They are the ones he called to be his children because that was his plan. Romans 8 verse 28. Well, we have just learned that we can get through suffering and tough times with God's help. 
God can even bring good things out of the things that hurt us. No one wants to go through hard times, but when we do, that person can turn to God and find help, and that, that hard time will help them to become a better person. We can become more kind and loving. We can do things for people that are feeling hurt. We can pray for them. We can ask God to help them to come out of their trouble a better person. Sometimes we may not know exactly what to say, but if we just give hugs or maybe a smile, that will help even if we don't know the person very well. Painful moments remind us that we need Jesus. It gives God the chance to comfort us and to help us to trust him. Remember to trust God when you have pain. James doesn't say if we have hard times. He says when we have hard times. It's not always easy to understand why we have hard times, but we know that God is with us and we are not alone. Let's say a little prayer of thanksgiving, okay? Thank you, God, that we have you always near us, even when we're having hard times. We know that you bless us and help us to become better people. Amen. Remember, God works the good of those who love him. He will take care of you. Now, I want to show you your craft for today. And this is a butterfly that we're going to make. Now, I have used paint. What you would do is put paint on one side of the butterfly and then fold it up and squish it. And when you open it up, you'll have two different wings, but they will have the same kinds of colors on both faces. I've used a piece of brown construction paper to make the body and a little bit of marker to make the eyes. Now, if you don't have brown paper, you can use a stick for the body from outside. You could use a popsicle stick. You could use a dowel, a wooden dowel for his body. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the instructions for the craft on Facebook. The actual pattern for the butterfly will be on the church website, but I will put the instructions on Facebook. I hope you had a good day today. Happy Sabbath. Goodbye, everybody.